Thanks. I've just seen Luke. He said you was Paula. No, it's just a bug. Oh, but you still not going to the wedding? No. Oh, I'm off today anyway if you need any help. Oh, yeah. Maybe if you want to come around later. Uh, hang out. OK. My supply teacher turned out to be my sister. Nightmare. Chocolate in the shapes, two bags for the price of one. Uh, no, no, sir. Bargain pack of assorted envelope sizes, 99 pence. I'm OK. <sighs> what are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing with him? Cleaning me specs. Norris does it exactly like that. Yeah, he does. Exactly the same. Maybe all people with glasses do it. Yeah. Do you not want to buy the magazine, then? Nah, just come in to browse the covers, check I'm not missing out. Hey, Nozza! Talk of the devil. Yeah, talk of what? Are you talking about me? What, what, uh, I mean, what, what was she saying? I mean, she's a terrible one for making mischief, is that one? Frankly, it'd be better if you didn't believe a word she said. See that? What are you doing? Well, I'm just cleaning my glasses. I'm sorry to interrupt, but this is a genuine emergency. And you are the only man who can help. I'm looking for some of that sticky on both sides, Tate. Have you got any of that? I'll have a look. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Just force of habit. You spend more time in here now you retire than you did when you were working. Mm, do you mind? Well, I suppose it must be a difficult transition. Well, I mean, I've been in business all my life. I mean, there was a point when I was the leading supplier of quality stationery throughout the whole of the north of England. You didn't spend any time in Darlington, did you? Darlington. Darlington, Darlow. Well, yeah, it's funny you should say that. Because I once spent a very interesting two weeks in Darlington. I mean, it's many years ago now, but... How long ago, exactly? Oh, 1961. 1961. Are you sure it's 1961? Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's 1961, because it's a very interesting story, you see. Uh, oh, what's this? Uh, oh, sorry, just a minute. About Darlington. Yeah, yeah. I, um... I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, but, um... I can't seem to make it work. It's sticky, you see, but uh, only on one side. And I need it to be sticky on both sides. Uh, maybe you could show me? Uh, Rita, it's in the Rovers. I, I might pop back later. Um... Are, are you quite all right? Hold my hands. You seem like a sympathetic and sensitive person. Well, I like to think so. I've just had the most discombobulating experience of my life. Really? May I share it with you? Well, yes, if you must. That man... N Norris? I think he might be my father. Oh. Is there anybody there? Oh, oh, I said... <clears throat> what? What, 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 what... What are you doing? What? Uh, oh, this? Oh it's, oh, it's just something I'm trying out. It's me, um Hipster look. Hipster? Yeah, you must have heard of them. They're a kind of um, creative thinking subculture. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Would you do... Oh, no, no, unfortunately, I can't. <laughs> High cholesterol. Oh? Yes, I, I, I uh, blame my mother. It's not hereditary, is it? Oh, no, no, it's a question of life choices, the wrong ones, apparently. I mean, who was to know that bread and dripping was the work of the devil? Well, I mean, of course, we all know now, but back then... Uh... But you're going to be all right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm on medication. That, that's why I'm not eating. I, I've got a routine blood test at 3 o'clock, so until then... Uh... Blood test? Yeah. You're all right, I see. I... You're all right? Yeah, I couldn't be better. <laughs> Colin. Yes, Colin. I mean, what more could one ask for in a partner? A businessman, highly intelligent, and, of course, single. 
so eminently eligible. Eminently. Mm. I'm very attractive in a Colin kind of way. He is, isn't he? And I shouldn't really say this, mm. but quite sexy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. So what's your problem? Oh, it just blows hot and cold. I don't know where I stand. The sad thing is, Elizabeth, I can really see us together. Don't give up, apart from anything else. It'd be criminal to let a man like that go to waste. Do you know what? My horoscope said this morning that I was going to make a connection with a man quite like Colin. Oh. So if you're really not interested, hey, could turn out to be my lucky day. Oh, well, I never said... <laughs> right, I will love you and leave you. Oh, well, thanks for the bubble bath. You are welcome. I know how much you love it. Oh. Moira. Colin. Have you uh, been raiding Norris's wardrobe? Is it too much? Oh. No, it's adorable. Yeah, I've always been rather a fan of the tank top. Perfects the art of keeping the body warm whilst exposing a man's erogenous zones. Um, will you be needing an appointment? We've we're fully booked, but I'm sure I can squeeze you in, so to speak. Um, actually, it was you I came to see. I need to ask you a favour. I need to know one way or another about Norris and me, you know, about us being... I've bought a DNA kit. A DNA kit? But I need a sample, and I understand that Norris has an appointment for some blood tests. I couldn't possibly say. Well, you only have to put a few drops in this container, and Bob's your uncle, or Norris is your dad. I am not risking my job because you have some vague notion of a familial connection with Norris. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm already doing two people's jobs as well as standing in for a broken machine. Mr Higginbottom to the nurse. Knock. Uh, it's her office. Yes, I know that. Thank you, Sean. Can I help you, Moira? No. Um, I'm just doing an electrical health check. Yeah, good. Daddy on. Is everything okay? Why well, shouldn't it be? Thinking. If you'd let me take this home... Without actually paying for it? Then I could read it and bring it back. And then I'd get to see more of you. And you'd get to see more of me. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Sorry. Um, if you're busy... No, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Is that everything? Is that what it is? Oh, if you must know, it's... Magnolia. Perhaps you might like to, um... Your inner sanctum. I suppose it is, yeah. <laughs> um, you said you had a surprise for me. I do. Norris's. Mm -hmm. You did it. Although we didn't go as smoothly as I hoped. How so? I didn't have time to put it back. Well, as always tomorrow. Huh. Which may be too late. Well, I really am grateful, thank you. When I saw you and Norris together, I just had to help. Hmm. Oh, 
another surprise. Oh. I'm reliably informed they're all the rage. You presume right. No. Not right now. So lovely and thick. Oh. Titian. Uh. I believe in um, New Zealand they're known as a cheese cutter. I haven't really got time for breakfast. I should get that blood sample back before the notice is missing. Half an hour won't make any difference, but it'll mean all the world to Colin. Oh, all right, then. Good. Because I'm loath to leave you after a hard night of wild abandonment. <laughs> <laughs> You're adorable when you blush. Well, I never. Oh, turns out oh. there is a heart that beats beneath that long waistcoat, sleeveless thing. Uh, Norris, how can I help? Oh, I have, I have just. Uh... I've just come in for, 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 for a card. It's always nice to have some in. It is indeed. <sighs> Hello, I'm here to collect my railway magazine. Ah, yes. And there it is. That's not classic railway. No, well, you see, the charge of delivery on a single copy, so Colin took the liberty of getting you that instead. Who's Colin? Uh, me. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I, it's not the one I ordered. Well, I mean, it's, it's all trains, and it one's much the same as another. But I, one is not much the same as another. F for a start, anyone with a modicum of intelligence would see that this is about electric trains. It's a subject I've no interest in the slightest. My magazine specialises in steam engines. The glue is in classic. Ah, one of the old guard, eh? Toot, toot! <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure Colin uh, could ring them and order the correct copy. Yes, but I'd have to add on for the delivery. Uh -oh. Only kidding. <laughs> All right, Roy. <laughs> Look, Roy is a much-valued customer. He's been coming in this shop for years. If you carry on like that, young man, you'll lose all your customers. You are a rare breed, Norris. A man who holds principles above profit. I consider myself shamed. Yeah. Well, apology accepted. I've got so much to learn from you, Norris, so much, and I'm so glad, so very, very glad that chance brought us together. Yes, well, there's no reason to go over the top. <laughs> you seem to have a fan. Yes. <laughs> Have you heard from Jude, Angie? No, I'm still persona non grata. Hold oh, no. on. I'm oh, sorry. Excuse me a minute. Uh, uh. Hello? Yes, uh, yeah, yeah, speaking. Uh, oh, well, but why? I mean, I, I only had one yesterday. Well, yeah, I, I could come back in. Oh, I could come in at three o'clock, yeah. Right. Right, thank you. Bye. What's the matter? It was my doctor. She wants me to have another blood test, but she won't tell me why. You must know why I've been brought in for another blood test. Well, I'm not right sure what happened. It's nothing to worry about. What do you mean, it's nothing to worry about? I had one yesterday, then they ring me up and I've got to come in for another one today. That's plenty to worry about. Can you take those, Sean? Yes. Yeah. Oh, why, why, why have you brought me in again today? What's wrong? Mr. What have you found? Mr Cole, I'll see you in a minute. Oh, for goodness sake. Put the poor man out of his misery. If he's going to die, don't you think he has a right to know? Nobody said anything about dying. Oh, oh, am I? Just to set your mind at ease. You're absolutely fine. As far as I know. Then why? I'm afraid um, we appear to have lost your blood sample. But, but, but that's outrageous. I know, and I do apologise. Well, I should be making a formal complaint. We don't. I, I don't expect doctors to be so negligent. It's my fault. I, I dropped the sample and it smashed. Why on earth didn't you say? Sorry, I must have been embarrassed, I suppose. I, I take full responsibility. It was not the doctor's fault. No, it was mine. Colin. I coerced Moira into stealing your blood. Why? Why, why, why? why would you want my blood? I wanted to get it tested. I think you might be my dad. Oh. 
Collins Culper. Collins Maxima Culper. Moira is blameless in all of this. Hardly. This was now I planned this. A clumsy blurt in the medical centre. Oh, Colin. Don't sympathise. She stole my blood. And now you're paying for mine. I was only trying to help a friend. I love her. Your son. For heaven's sake. Darlington, 1961. It was just a case of joining the dots. I won't tolerate this breach of patient confidentiality. I have no option but to sack you, Moira. Oh, I've made a pig's ear of this, haven't I? Any fatherly advice at this point would be gratefully received. <laughs> of Darlington, you said, and I quote, I had two unforgettable weeks there in 1961. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. But, I mean, with all due respect to Darlington, my memories of it are far from sepia. Oh, so you regret the liaison with me mother? There was no liaison. Unless you count several blanket baths administered from an extremely tetchy nurse who never bothered to warm her hands. What, so you, you were in hospital? No, no, I have a thing for blanket baths. Of course I was in hospital. I was laid up in the memorial for a fortnight. What happened? Ah, I had a run-in with the Morris Minor. No airbags in those days. So... You didn't meet any women or have any flings? There were no flings. Oh, no, I tell a lie. There was a fling. Colin knew it. I was flung from the passenger seat onto the grass verge, and that was my lot as far as flings were concerned. Oh, look, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't be so glib. Are you sure there's categorically no chance that you... None whatsoever. Well, I would have bet the farm on it. Not just because of our shared ticks and peccadilloes or the way we polish our lenses our lyrical cadences, or even the way that we both rock a tank top. It's just that I was convinced. I thought fate had reunited us. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, relieved more like. No, no, no. I, I, I'm flattered that you, you, you were so keen for me to be your father. Well, allow me a sceptical, hmm. No, no, come on, Colin. It, it, it's rather humbling for me, really. I mean, you, you're hard-working, you're tenacious, you go get in, and your cup is always half full. Whereas mine is half empty and invariably chipped. Well, thank you for throwing me a bone, but the truth of it is I've lost you and I've lost Moira. Fate to Colin Nil. Sacked? Me? A stickler for rules and regs. Yeah, he said. I've never had so much as a parking ticket. Well, I suppose with uh, blood and confidentiality and... I'm undone. I am undone by Cupid. By Colin. Oh, he's a phenomenal kisser. I was in his thrall. What? A vial of patient's blood, you say? <laughs> Kein problem, Colin. He allow me to break every possible code of ethics and, and do... By all means, throw me under the bus when it all goes horribly wrong. Well, well, in fairness, Colin did try to fall on his own sword. And skewered me in the process. Maybe it's time to try pastures new. Hmm, yes. Yeah, you, your P45 and the wild blue... Moira. Colin, tread gently. She is undone. You're undone. I'll live. On what? I have no idea. How about sweets and chocolates perilously close to the cell bars? What? Oh, dear, it's like watching a car crash. And Darlington, 1961. Amongst other things. Fine dining, fine wine, and fine romance. Moira, can I describe you in three words? Luminous, loyal, and pre-Raphaelite. Oh. Pre-Raphaelite being hyphenated, I presume I haven't exceeded the three. Moira, best beloved, come to Stoke-on-Trent. Oh. How can you run the cabin from Stoke? You can't I'm buying it back. We shook on it earlier. Oh, that's splendid. <laughs> well, the final papers will be with you by Friday, and this is where we'll be oh. billing and cooing from now on. Oh. Thank you. I don't know what to say. There will be a massive Moira-shaped hole in our lives. Oh, Elizabeth, don't let anyone tell you you don't have a heart. That's poetry. You will come and visit. 
Stoke. Try stopping us. Well, well, wild horses. And you and Mary, Norris. You might not be my biological dad. No kind of dad. We've established that. Details. We're still soul brothers under the skin. My colossus of commerce. <laughs> no. Don't come out. I don't want to make it any harder for you. Good luck, one and all. Onwards and upwards. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Hang on. He didn't pay for that last round. Oh, I must go and help Rita. She's moving back in her flat today. Leave it. Here. Oh. Oh, yeah. Small price to pay to get our couch back. <laughs>